I swear I'm not crazy guys. I was just using uh, I was self massaging myself with this lacrosse ball, which I talked about in some other vlog. I don't remember which one, but it was a couple vlogs ago. So yeah, I was I'm not crazy. I was using a lacrosse ball to massage myself. Just kidding, I am crazy. They can imitate you, but they can't replicate you. Cause you got something special. I think I should try out for the voice. What do you guys think? Should I? I was just listening to this song that I really like. It's called Dessert by DeWin. Daywin? Day one? Day one since day one? I don't know how to pronounce his name, so. That's how I say it. Day one? DeWin? I don't know. Sorry. Alright, what is up guys? Today is January 10th. It is about 9.30 p.m. right now, and I didn't vlog too much again today because all I did was work. Uh, yeah, I just worked and then went home. So this is the physique update right now. I weighed in at 157.2 pounds. So here is the physique. Still see my abs, obliques, and arms. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. But I have measured my arms and they are getting bigger. And then this is the back. See that? So yeah, that is a physique update, 157.2 pounds. Currently in the kitchen right now and my parents made a trip to Costco and they bought this uh, C bought this like sea salt caramel cup thing I've never seen this before but it looks really really tasty macros on this probably aren't very friendly but perks of being on a bulk 17 fat 26 carb 2 protein so yeah macros aren't too friendly on this but perks of being on a bulk alright gonna do a taste test hopefully I didn't Cut my head off. So, here it goes. Mix, mix them all. Dark chocolate on top, something in the middle, and then there's like caramel crumble at the bottom. It's pretty good. Pretty sweet though. But I like it. It's good. So, I'm about to order a light for my DSLR. Like, whenever you guys watch me vlog at night how I get those shots where there's light on my face. Usually I just hold up uh, the flashlight on my iPhone with my other hand, like this. That's usually how I do that, but to make things easier for myself, I'm going to buy a light that I could just attach to the camera, and then I'll have a free hand to do whatever, and then I'm also buying a mini tripod, because this one is like, this little part broke, and it's like scratching my hand every time I try to turn the tripod on the camera, and this thing, was just came free with like some uh, lens that I bought from my camcorder a long time ago so it's not very good anyway so it was time for an upgrade so I'm buying this this is what the lo light looks like focus so Manfrotto this is a very good brand they make high quality tripods so this is $25 it is a bit pricey but it is quality Every Sunday night, I sit down and I design the workouts throughout the week. Uh, I, the way I design them is that I decide what our goal is for the week, what we need to work on. So if you guys are up to date with my videos, you know last week was our slow motion, mind-muscle connection. That was the goal for last week. Uh, this week is just strength and hypertrophy, so just strength and building muscle. So, you guys, I log all the workouts that we do. So I see goal, strength, hypertrophy, and then I just write them all down throughout the week. And then as you see, last week was slow motion training, and then it's just increased neuromuscular efficiency, so that mind-muscle connection. So I also track all the lifts that we do on Google Docs, but I haven't, uh, I haven't tracked for last week because, as I said earlier last week, we weren't going for strength, we were going for the mind-muscle connection, so it was really lightweight. So I didn't really track any of the lifts last week. Alright, what's up guys? It is 11.11am 11, 11 right now. Make a wish. Uh, it's January 11th. Uh, I was supposed to go to the gym with Sergio at 12, but he has to take care of some school stuff, so 
I totally understand school comes first. So we just moved the workout later at night because I'm free later on. And I want to show you guys this new app that I downloaded. It's called Daily Quote. And basically what it is is it just um, sends you the daily quote of the day. Uh, I have it uh, to notify me at 9 a.m. every morning. So when I wake up, I have a motivational quote to jumpstart my day. So the quote of today is, Either I will find a way or I will make one. And that is by Philip Sidney. So... I'm really looking forward to this app. I just downloaded it yesterday, so this is the first quote that I uh, received. And I think it's just a great way to just jumpstart my day with the positive. So my brother is watching this new Netflix series called Unbreakable and I see a couple episodes here and there whenever I'm like in the area when he's watching it and I really like it so I really recommend that you guys watch it and the main actress, I don't know her name but she's, if you guys watch The Office, she's Erin from The Office and she's gorgeous. So basically what it's about is uh, there were these women that were trapped underground for 15 years in a bunker and they were just released and so basically what the show is about is they are trying to re... Yeah, they're trying to readjust into the society 15 years later. Yes, Netflix, I still am watching. Jeez, can't someone just sit home for hours and just watch TV? Alright, so now, sorry about the road noise, it's, there's a lot of cars going on, but yeah, now I got to change the registration sticker on my truck to 2017. That 115 horsepower engine though. Alright, so now I'm going to replace this Febreze vent clip because this one is out of the scent. And I, I do take pride in how good my car smells. Whenever I drive, a lot of people, they're like, wow, your car smells so good. And it's just amazing getting those compliments because usually when you have a passenger, you do want them to be comfortable. You don't want them to be like, oh my God, it smells disgusting in here. Yeah, like I'm not the person that wants that. If you have a dirty car, that's really up to you. It's not it's your car. But for me, I like, personally, I like my car to smell good. So I'm going to replace with another one. Basically, you just snap it like this. And you just wait to hear it snap. There you go. And then you just put it in your vent. And then you just blow air through it. And then it blows the scent out. Alright, that is going to conclude this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this vlog consisted a lot of just me sitting at home. But I normally don't get to sit home and relax and pretty much do nothing. Because usually I'm always doing something. But... Yeah, all I got later going on is uh, I'm probably going to get some food because I haven't eaten that much today and then I'm going to go to the gym at Sergio and then uh, I'm probably going to study for my personal training course because I do have a midterm this week. So that is going to conclude this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching.